So now let's implement a new method called as remove last. So as the name suggests, all that it has to do is it has to remove the last element from a name list. So in this particular case, there are three different scenarios. What are the three scenarios? The first scenario is when there are zero elements in the link list. The next scenario is when there is one element in the link list. And the other scenario is when there are more than one element in the link list. So when there is zero elements, head will be pointing to none. When there is one element, head will be pointing to the first node, the one, first or the one and only node. And the head dot next will be pointing to none. And when there are more than one elements, this is how it will do. So, now what I need to do is, first let's implement when there is 0 and when there is 1 and later on we will implement for the last one. So, what I need to do when there are 0 elements, how do I know first when there are only 0 elements? When head is pointing to null, I can clearly say there are only 0 elements. So, what I will do is, I will do nothing. So, I will check the condition, if head is equal to null, if it is equal to null, do nothing. The next scenario is when there is 1 element. How do I know there is 1 element? All that I need to do is, if the head dot next is equal to null, then it means to say that there is only one element. So I need to check else if head dot next equal to null. If it is equal to null, I have to do what I have to do is head should start pointing to null. So how do I ensure that head points to null? I need to say head equal to null. The next scenario is the main scenario. So that's nothing but when there are more than one elements. How do I know there are more than elements? If I say head dot next, if it is not equal to null, it definitely means there are more than one elements. So what I need to do is, I need to say, I will say, head dot next is not equal to null. So in this particular case, what exactly I have to do? All that I have to do is just remove this particular link, uh, remove this particular node. Now how can I remove this node? Very simple task I have to do. All that I have to do is, this particular node, so next part is actually pointing to this node. All I have to do is, is to make sure that it doesn't point to the next node, rather than pointing to the next node, I need to make sure that this points to null because always the last node next part will be pointing to null. You can clearly see the last node next is pointing to null. So what I need to do is I will make sure this uh, nodes next will start pointing to null. Now how can I do this? If I have to do this, the first thing that I need to do is I need to have the reference of this particular node. Now how can I get the reference of this node? I will make use of current in this case. So what I will do is, I will introduce a new variable called as current. So how do I introduce it? I can't directly introduce it over here. I need to make sure it starts from here and it keeps on traversing till here. So how do I do that? I will just say current is equal to net. So current will be starting, uh, starting it will point to the same node where the head is pointing to. And after that what it does is, you have to make sure that the current keeps on moving. Till where should it move? It should not move to the last node. Rather it moves, should move to the last second. To move to the last second node, we have already seen a while loop and that while loop was very simple. All I had to do is check the condition while current dot next dot next is not equal to null. So current dot, the current is this, current dot next is this, dot next is this. So whenever it is equal to null, it will stop executing. So basically current will come till here. To understand more about this, we have already well, made a video of this and you had seen that particular, I hope you had seen that particular video. If you have not seen that video, make sure you go and see that particular video first. So all that I will do is I will directly write that code while current.next.next is not equal to null. If it is not equal to null, I need to move the current to the next node. How do I move current is equal to current. So if I do this particular thing, the current will start pointing to the last. Now all I have to do is current.next, I need to start pointing to null. How do I start pointing to null? I just simply say current.next is equal to null. If I do this, automatically this gets disconnected because this link will be removed and this link will start pointing to null. And once I do that, what exactly happens is the last element gets removed. And this is how remove last works. So now let's go and write the new code for remove last. Now let's implement the code and execute and see whether it works perfectly fine. So, uh, I have the main method over here. First, let me remove all the lines that is available, all the extra lines that is available in the remove, uh, this main method. I will just remove this. Now, let's go to the linked list class. So, if I take you to the linked list class, I have already implemented certain methods. Now, what I need to do is, remove last is what I need to implement. So, I will uh, create a method called as remove last. So, I will say void remove last. And over here, what I need to do is, I will come inside this particular method. And over here, I need to write the code. So first, there are three scenarios. So let me uh, create the three scenarios. So if 
First scenario is when uh, now head is pointing to null, which means to say when there are zero elements, so I'll say head equal to null. When head is equal to equal to null. So that's one scenario. Now I will create one more else if. When head dot next is equal to null, it means to say when there is only one element. So I'll say if head dot next equal to null. Equal to null. Yes, correct. Now, apart from this, there is one more scenario. When head dot next is not equal to none. When it is not equal to none, it means to say when there are more than one element. So I'll say else if head dot next is not equal to none. Head dot next not equal to none. Great. So now, now, now let's implement the code. When head is equal to none, there is no element to remove at all. So I don't have to write anything. Else if uh, if you want to write a system, uh, print statement, you can write it over here. Now, when it comes to head dot next uh, equal to null, it means to say that there is only one element, so that's only my last element. So in that case, what I'll do is I'll start uh, pointing head to null, so I'll say head equal to null. Great. Next, I'll come to the next one, and over here, what I need to do is I need to actually uh, do certain operations. First thing is I need to introduce a current variable, so I'll say current is equal to head, not current equal to head, and after that. I need to make sure that the current starts pointing to the last second node. For that, I need to write a while loop. So I'll say while. And inside that while, I will say current dot next dot next is not equal to null. So uh, what exactly happens over here is when uh, when the current node is pointing to the last node, current dot next dot next will be equal to null. So the loop would break. So all that I have to do inside this is make sure that the current is shifting towards the right side or moving to the head. So I'll say current is equal to current dot next. Current equal to current dot next. Yes, yes. So after this, I'll come out of the while loop. So current will be pointing in this particular case. When I come out of the while loop, current will be pointing to the last node. All I have to do is make sure that the current's next part will be actually pointing to none so that I ensure that that's the last one. So how do I do that? I'll say current dot next equal to none. It is equal to none. So this is all the code that I have to do. So now let's go and actually execute and see whether it's working or not. So what I will do is I'll go inside this. So I have already called print link this. I will what I'll do is I'll call the method and after that I will again call print link this. So what I will do is after this I will call the method ML dot remove last not remove last and after that again I will call print link list. great so if I execute this first time I should get 10, 20, 30, 40 and the second time the 40 should be removed so let's see whether it's working or not working so if I just execute the code over here okay. you can clearly see I get 10, 20, 30, 40 and after that I am getting 10, 20, 30 if you want this to be present in the next line there is one small change that, uh, that we will have to do just go to the print link list and do some modification. What is that? I will show you. So I need to go inside the print link list and if I open this method, here after this what I need to do is after printing the while thing, I will just say system and I will not print anything, just taking the cursor to the next line. Okay, I will minimize this and let me execute it once again. So if I execute it once again, you can clearly see 10, 20, 30, 40 and after that I got 10. So I hope how to remove the first element and how to remove the last element is completely clear to you. If you have enjoyed this video and would not like to miss any of our videos, hit on the subscribe button and click the bell icon.